Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit and today I have a finished object video for you because I finished socks I'm so happy about them and I have a thing to knit more in DK socks Okay, so first things first, I know I'm talking about socks and I know socks sometimes are not the the biggest topic ever, you know, uh, but they do some good stuff too. <clears throat> so first of all, I love knitting socks because it's just knitting in a round. Um, this case, well, I was using Magic Loop, so I do not have um, 9 inch, so 23 centimeter circular needles with the size I used over here. I have another one on the go. They're 2.75 millimeters, which is US size two, I want to say. I'm guessing with a US size. So just, yeah. I'm wondering, should I get US size two on nine inches, 23 centimeters? Um, however, maybe you do not like to knit in the round and you do have a spare ones, let me know. I do not mind to, you know, get second hand. If you have been watching me for a while, I started knitting socks on DPNs, not on this channel, I think bought in 2005, yes, DPNs, and then I moved on to Magic Loop, uh, two at a time, I think one at a time, then two at a time, and then now I'm kind of fan of knitting in the round with nine inch, uh, especially for like fingering weight, because I haven't tried yet using your size two or in the case weight size. Anyway, so. <laughs> The second thing is that you can use leftovers, and this is the case of using up leftovers, those yarns that you have over there, and you don't know what to do with them, and there's not enough for stuff. And believe me, there's enough for instance this. The one thing over here I know you're asking, so how much did I use, and I didn't measure. Because I just grabbed whatever I had, and I just I just start knitting with it. It is a, it is a plain vanilla, so... I love to relax and I did micro stripes and um, these are two different colors of yarns and this is a helix method. I have a, t a free tutorial on this channel so maybe I'll put it at the end of the video including how I knit socks but that shows two at a time but anyway all links down below if you're interested um, so yeah. So basically with these what did I do? First construction. So I was knitting toe up and I did my toe slightly different and I keep a record on it on my phone. So uh, normally I would do decrease every second but I wanted to play a little bit. Play a little bit. Uh, so I did that. I was knitting a big long tube and um, hmm, and then what? Maybe on the screen you can see three photos. I think I had I took three photos so you can see kind of progress. Um, over there and um, I was knitting until I ran out of the grey colour. I had some leftovers of the grey colour and the grey colour was one of the drops. Okay, I have some things over here. So now for the body I use drops, two colours, this kind of burgundy colour and this grey colour and I'm not sure which one is which one but let's say 822 I have over here and 602 and I knitted socks before and these are my leftovers and it was so much fun to knit and as you could see it gives a really nice effect and I really like it and I cannot wait to knit more. And then I run out of the grey colour and I wanted to put a heel and I found this leftover which is an opal. I knitted socks with it I think. Uh, the colour is 9366 from the Fruit and Juicy, I think, collection. So hopefully you can see on the screen. I still have some, so I could definitely knit some toes or a heel, because I think heels look so cool in this kind of gray gradient. So if you have any similar yarns, you can go for it. So, so nice. If you know Drops Fable yarn, they gave kind of a gradient thing, even though it says it's a, a long print. They're very kind of stripy, but if I find photos, maybe on the screen, I'll show you the two socks that I knitted with those, or three socks if I find that I knitted three socks. 
on the screen now so you can check them out and now I have kind of a babies from that which is so cool so I told you I did a toe and that increased I increased to 48 stitches okay well I'm not using any European sizes over here at all so basically uh, I was aiming so when you're putting this up flat I'll get nine centimeters so ten centimeters is four inches so I was maybe three and a half inch when you put it flat to knit these socks with my gauge. I would have to do math <laughs> um, to tell you what my gauge was, so maybe on the screen I'll put it over here, um, what the gauge is for uh, this, these socks. I don't have that many leftovers, but another third thing that I forgot to tell you at the beginning is that you can do swaps with people. So if you have some leftovers that you've already knitted with them, then you can go and do that too. Check the link down below to Knitting I Love Ravelry Group. We have a thread over there, swap, and you can write down what would you want to swap just go there read it and if you have any questions ask us there's plenty of people over there who can definitely help so now i showed you a sneak peek so i use this bag and i just put stuff in it and then uh, i use this needle so over here you can see and um, i think the same pouch actually because i was thinking to um put it as a gift knit and i think i will do although they're so pretty i want to keep them don't you think oh um but i may give it away and that's why i'm kind of forcing myself when I take a yarn I don't know what's going to happen to use this pouch this is my knit and, and this is my gift knitting pouch you can find it in my shop but that way I'm kind of putting myself to from the first stitch I'll make I'm just committed to give it away because it is so hard to give things that you make and I totally understand that but I know that it's even better when I when I know that someone really enjoys or oh, wears socks. So anyway, if you ever received anything from me and uh, you're wearing it, take a photo. I really love to see it. So this is like kind of DK, I'm saying, because, or maybe DK may be slightly worsted or iron. We're going higher than DK slightly because I hold two fingering weight yarns together for each color. So you could see the stripe over here was the burgundy, that's two fingering holding together and then I have the grey and I'm holding it two together. And because it's a pattern, so like you could see for instance over here, it's a pattern print on the yarn, um, but I'm grabbing from different ends so it kind of gives you more um, marble. I think that's effect, which I really, really love. And uh, so let me know what do you think. I think you would not mind to get them as a gift, do you? That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next one, I think you can have a sneak peek how I knit these socks here and there, I think in episode, I'm guessing, 80 or 79. Check my episodes because over there it's more like live knitting a show where I take my needles and where I knit them. So places you can knit. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye. And look, I found leftovers from that burgundy color. So this is, this is how it looked.